Alright, this is Steve Freddie Lee here with, with Freddie's Mono Kung Fu. I just wanted to go over a wall split tutorial. To me, this is the, the best uh, stretch that you could do to try to learn how to do the middle splits. You're going to need a partner for this one. And um, sometimes people's feet might hurt, so you might probably good to take your shoes off. Um, depending on how tall the person is that you're pushing out, I recommend to push you know, at their foot level. Um, or you might have to go inner, closer in and start pushing them where the calf muscle is. Make sure that you're not hurting them where you're pushing them. Make sure that they feel comfortable wherever they're at. Uh, you're going to be pushing in um, slowly. Make sure that you're pushing equal on both sides. Like don't just push 10 inches here and like 4 inches there. Try to push 1 inch here, 1 inch here and just keep pushing and pushing equally. So then uh, both legs are being stretched. Uh, you know, equally with uh, within. So I'm gonna do a demo. You know, we're gonna do a demonstration right here. I'm gonna be pushing in, and, and it's like a slight push. And she wants to breathe deep. You know, breathe in through the nose, and then exhale through the mouth. Uh, she wants to breathe in, so then the air will fill up her stomach. Uh, she wants a long, deep breath to fill up her stomach. All right, this this. This stretch is designed to be held for a pretty long time. Uh, I say bare minimum, you would hold maybe at 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side, maybe 30 seconds in the center, and then she, she could take a break and then you could do it over again and just keep doing repetitions. If you're really serious about doing the splits, you might even do it for up to 30 minutes with breaks in between, just multiple repetitions. So you gotta communicate with the person, let them know, how far you want them to push. Don't overdo it because you don't want anything to tear, but at the same time, it shouldn't be too comfortable. They should be, uh, they shouldn't really be talking. They should be breathing. So if they're talking and they're, you know, all this, they're probably not challenging themselves enough. The thing about stretching is that potentially, you know, if you don't push yourself hard enough, then, then you're not going to get any results. So, you don't want to push them to the point where something tears, but at the same time, you don't want to not challenge them because then they're not going to be able to do the splits. Right now, she's not being challenged. I'm not really pushing that much right now. But <laughs> when she is being challenged, you'll see you know, her, it's going to be harder for her to breathe, and she's gonna, not going to want to talk, and it's not going to feel comfortable. But that's how it has to be if you want to really progress in this. Another thing is, you might hold it for 10 seconds and then release and then do another 10 seconds to release or maybe even hold it for 3 seconds release and then hold it 3 seconds release. So there's different ways to do it. So say right now I'm going to push it more and the whole objective also is to get her feet, both feet to touch the wall. Okay. And a way that also you could do is you could use a, a measuring tape. Um, a ruler to see how far her, her, her ankle is from the wall. And that's going to be a measurement to see how flexible they're getting. So say you measure the ankle to the wall, say it's like 12 inches right now. Um, say later on, you know, I push it and then it gets to 10 inches. And then I push it again, it gets to 8 inches. And then maybe next week you could try to get 7 inches and so on and so forth. Okay, so you ready? Her back has to be against the wall, her back has to be straight as well, right now. More? Just a little. <laughs> That's it? Just a little bit more. And then another thing is you don't want to, you don't want their legs to rise up off the ground. Um, you want their legs to be on the ground. And also, the, you want their foot to be pointed straight up. Like, don't let the foot angle to the sides or anything like that. Point the toes straight up. Also, point the knees straight up. And um, try to have the legs be in contact with the ground. So don't let the knees rise up. Okay. Any more? Is that it? That's it. No more? <laughs> Alright, so it's, now I just release pressure. Just let her rest a little bit. Hi. What we didn't demonstrate is reaching to each side, so I want her to reach to each side, okay, again, so, 
right there. Have them reach to one side, do a count of 30. Yeah, other side. We not, might not be doing 30 right now because she's in pain, but <laughs> you're supposed to do 30. How many are counting? You gotta count. <laughs> you, well, you know, I count slow, so I think you want me to count. <laughs> <laughs> So 30 seconds on each side that she's going to hold, and then 30 seconds down the center. The good thing is she is breathing deep. That's what she's supposed to do. Alright, so when, when somebody gets really good at it, their feet will be able to touch the wall. And another thing is, you might need two people. So one person, person pushes this foot, the other person pushes that foot. And they keep pushing and pushing until their feet get against the wall. Um, that's when you get an advanced level of that stretch. A really good stretch afterwards is this butterfly stretch that she's doing right there. Um, but from my experience, this is the most uh, beneficial stretch, the most advanced stretch for learning how to do the middle splits. And you do need the assistance of a partner. The partner is the, per is the one that really challenges you to take this, the middle split to the next level. Um, and you can't do that on your own. Um, you could use the floor for this, the, you know, using the floor for the middle splits, but this right here is, is more advanced, it's even to another level, and this is what I highly recommend for people to practice if they really want to get the middle splits. Any other questions or any anything to say? Nothing. Got it. You want to do it again? Um. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So hopefully this, this video helped you guys out, and uh, good luck on your middle splits.